We are so privileged being the children of Lady Zainab Salamullahi Alaiha. She was known as Fasiha. She was Zahida. She was Abida. She was Al Kamila. She was a Siddiqat al Sughra. She was also known by Imam Zainul Abideen Alayhi Salam. She was known as Al Alima to Ghayra Mu'allima. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Holy Quran to attain such godly traits and become a great manifestation of Allah. Allah says, Wattaqullah wa yu'allimukumullah. Wallahu bi kulli shay'in alim. And be God conscious. Be God conscious. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will teach you. For Allah is the all knowing. The historians have confirmed that she was an authority for Muslim women who used to refer to her for religious affairs. And of course, she received such divine knowledge from her grandfather, Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, our great Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And of course, her parents, Amirul Mu'mineen alayhi salam and Sayyida Fatima Zahra salamullahi alayha and of course her brothers who were the source of intimate knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the true authentic deen of Al-Islam and hence Lady Zainab alayha salam has an epithet such as Al-Arifa Al I have a question for all our viewers today as we celebrate her birth anniversary. How do we personalize Lady Zainab Salamullahi Alaiha in the 21st century? We need to understand that she had the emotions of a human being despite the great sacrifices that she had to endure. She drew her energy from relying, having that tawakkul energy and receiving that reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You find that she saw most of the Imam's so-called artisans abandon him and join the enemies. She saw the women go through fear and worry when they had to camp in Karbala. The enemies deprived her people and her of water, such a basic necessity in life. She had to take care of the children and women when they were crying out of thirst. She didn't allow herself to deplete during these trials and there were moments of challenges because she had a greater purpose. She was never perplexed. You would never see Lady Zainab Salamullahi Alaiha getting perplexed and confused. She was never silent. She had never showed helplessness because she had faith in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And hence, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to create this inner strength. We need to rely and entrust upon our affairs in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so you see that she is just as evidently a role model for us as Lady Asya salamullahi alayha was and is and has been mentioned in Surah Al-Tahreem in the Holy Quran. Hence, my dear brothers and sisters, when there are times that we feel anxious, we find ourselves in anxiety and in fear, in constant confusion and perplexed, especially in this new era of atheism and a world of godlessness, we need to turn to this powerful role model woman who gives us the understanding of our deen and fortifying our deen through the superpower energy of tawakkul ala Allah, meaning and trusting our affairs on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we need to start being 
using these energies of tawakkul and we will find that this will become a game changer in our lives when we trust our affairs in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.